In this video, I'm going to show you how to re-image your hard drive with this system's image. So if and when you do have a software problem that you cannot fix, like the problems I have discussed in previous videos, Windows software problems like errors, corrupted, slow or crashed, applications you have installed but stop working or crashed, stubborn viruses, malware and spyware, computer slowing, hard drive crashes, damage or just not working. So with the systems image you have an easy way to remove these problems. Using it to re-image your hard drive or even if you need to replace the hard drive. Now turn on your computer and put your Windows repair disk into the DVD player. The one that we made at the end of the video on how to make a systems image. Once you have your systems repair disk in the DVD drive, plug in your external USB drive into your USB port and check that your Windows image backup file is on that external USB drive. Now go into computer and double click on the external drive which is usually local disk E. But if you have other drives in your computer drive section, it may be listed with a different letter, like local disk F, for example. But you should know the size of your external drive. So check the ones that are about the size of that drive and you will find the Windows image backup folder in that external drive. When you open the external USB drive, you should see the folder Windows image backup. And when you find it, close all folders and turn off your computer because you are now ready to start re-imaging your computer's internal drive. Now, turn on your computer and start running your systems repair disk. This can be a bit tricky. Most new computers have an easy way to boot from CD or DVD. But if your PC does not have this option, you are going to have to go into your BIOS or boot option menu and change it to boot from CD or DVD. So check your manual or go to Computer Maker's website and find this information. Now I will show you a way that is universal on most computers to get into the BIOS, but you will still have to change the boot option in the BIOS. So get this information from your computer's manual or their website. If you can't find out how to do it, drop me an email and I will give you the information you need. Now I'm going to show you how to get into the UFEI BIOS on an ASUS motherboard and change the boot priority to DVD player. All BIOS menus are different but similar in their approach. They all have a boot menu tab or section where you can go in and change the boot option. Let's do that now. Turn on your computer. When you see the computer logo screen, it will tell you what key to press to get into your BIOS settings screen. Then press that key repeatedly on your keyboard while the computer logo screen is still showing. And on this ASUS computer, that key is the delete key on your keyboard. So turn on your computer and once you see the computer logo screen appear, Click repeatedly on the delete key and your BIOS settings screen will appear. Now on the bottom left of the screen it shows an icon of a hard drive and a DVD player and you can interchange positions which will change the boot priority. So right click and hold down on the mouse on the DVD icon and move it to the left so that the DVD device will be will then be the first device your computer will try to boot from. So move icon across then go up to top right of the screen to exit advanced mode. Click on it and then the exit advanced mode window will appear and then just click on save changes and reset and your computer will restart and you will see the on-screen message, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Then just press any key on your keyboard to boot from CD or DVD device. So go up to exit advanced mode, click on it, and then exit advanced mode window will open. And you'll see save changes and reset. 
So just click on it there and your computer will restart. Now here is another way of changing the boot device in this BIOS utility and one that would be similar to most BIOS utilities. Go down to the bottom of the bottom right of the screen and you will see boot menu option button. Now click on it and you will see a boot menu window open in the middle of the screen and all you have to do is click on DVD drive that is listed and once you click on it your computer will reset and restart and you will then see the on-screen message which will say press any key to boot from CD or DVD then just press any key on your keyboard and the Windows repair disk will start loading. So go down there to boot menu F8 you can see it there click on it and you'll see the boot menu window open and one of them will say DVD read or write this one is a pioneer so just click on it so just click on it there and then your computer will restart and you will see the message press any key to boot from CD or DVD so press any key there now this is important make sure you press any key on your keyboard while this message is still on screen and it is only on screen for a few seconds so press any key once you see these words in order to boot from the systems repair disk or your computer will boot up as normal and you don't want that you want it to boot the systems repair disk so press any key while this message is still on screen so press any key there And then you will see Windows is loading file screen, this guy here. It will start loading the files there. So you can see them there at the bottom. And this will take a few minutes, so be, um, be patient. And this is the next screen you will see, Microsoft Corporation there. And on top of that, then a loading bar. So now the first window you will see is Systems Recovery Option. Select the language, English United States is set by default. Select the keyboard input method, US if you want to change it to your keyboard, if you have it set for a different keyboard, select your country. Then click next. And then you will see a Windows searching for Windows installations. And this can take a while or a couple of seconds anyway and once it finds it it'll show up just like that there and all you have to do here is make sure that use recovery tools can help you fix problems starting windows is selected and then just click on next there and the next window that will open is it's looking for a password so if you have a login password you'll have to enter it here so that you'll be um, logged on as an administrator so that you can use systems recovery. So my one is help and there's no password on this one but if you had a password you'd have to type it in here. Okay. So this one doesn't have a password so I'm just going to click OK. And then you go into systems recovery options. Choose a recovery tool. So the one we're interested in, because we want to do a systems image, we want to copy a systems image from the external hard drive that we plugged in at the beginning before you turn on your computer. Make sure that that USB external hard drive with the image of your computer is plugged in to a USB port. And of course, in order to be able to run this, you have to have your repair disk um, plugged in as well. So the third one down here is the one we're looking for, systems image recovery. If you have a hard drive that won't start and your computer won't start, this is the one you'd use. So now click on systems image recovery and it'll go searching for an image, a systems image disk and it's after finding it there. So local disk E, you would have all this information. Make sure you write down this when you make your systems image in the first place. So that you'll know that this is the actual image because you won't remember the date or the time that you made the, the image so make sure you have this on a sticky note on the external hard drive 
so that you'll remember it or write it down somewhere that you'll be able to find it. So use the latest available systems image recommended. So click next. Choose an additional restore options, which we won't need to do because we have a external hard drive with the image on it. So click next. Your computer will be restored from the following systems image. And there's the information I was telling you again. It comes up. Drives to restore and it just shows the volume number here. It's not that important to know this one, but just make sure that the date of the image and the computer name is correct here. So make sure you write them down. Now, there's a little bit of information down here. If the restore process is interrupted or fails to complete, your computer might not start up or boot. If this happens, you can use a systems repair disk like we're doing right now to try to restore the computer again or attempt another systems recovery option. So what you do is you'd turn off your computer and try again if it didn't work, but it will work as long as you have a correct systems image and it's for that actual PC that you're, you're running this on. OK, so click finish and it'll start making the systems image. It'll start copying over the systems image to your hard drive and it'll wipe everything that's on that hard drive and put the copy of the systems image onto the computer. All the data on the drive to be restored would be replaced with the data in the systems image, which is on the external drive that you plugged into your port, into your USB port. Are you sure you want to continue? Click, click yes. So click yes and it will start the systems image copy over onto your hard drive. Windows is restoring your computer from a systems image. This might take from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of the hard drive. OK. So restoring, restoring disk C. There it is. And we just let this process run. This stage you can go away and make yourself a cup of tea watch your favorite movie or watch your favorite soap or whatever you do this could take a while at the end of it i'll tell you how long it did take this is a small drive that was in this actual pc so i think it was 20 gigs so it shouldn't take that long but yours could take a lot longer it could take anything up to an hour maybe a little more Okay. Sometimes also when this before this um, restore um, actually goes ahead, it will it might ask you to um, format your drive. But in this case, it didn't, because I'm running this in in VirtualBox, which is a system within a system. So just be aware of that that it might ask you to format, and if it does, go ahead and do a format of your hard drive so that everything will run smoothly on it. One other thing here is once this uh, re-image of your computer starts, once this, once you see this box, that's it. You can't stop, you can stop it, but if you do, then your hard drive will be completely wiped at this stage. So you will have to go and start all over again if you stop it. Okay, just be aware of that. So if this is interrupted in any way, it has failed. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to pause the video here now and at the end, when it gets to the end, I will um, restart this video. So we're getting close to the end here. I'm just going to start recording again. So far, it's taken 15 minutes. Bear in mind, this is a, only a 20 gig hard drive. Now it's coming near the end here. Do you want to restart your computer now? Your computer has been restored and will be automatically restarted in 52 seconds. You can click restart now or don't restart. But you can click restart now or you can just wait for the computer to restart itself. So we're just going to wait and let it restart itself. 
So if you were away from your computer when this was happening, it will restart itself in within the minute. Okay. So as I said, you can click restart now or wait. And we're choosing to wait. So now we see, did the systems image work? So it applied the, the, the image to the, the boot record and all that, and now it's restarting. Preparing to configure Windows. Do not turn off your computer. 100% complete and welcome. And that's your systems image re copied from an external hard drive USB external hard drive and it has been successful because I know because this is the exact same um, desktop I had set up for it. And we just see now did it save did it copy over the documents that I had saved and it did just go into computer and see what's the story here yeah it's the exact same size as what I had, um, so I had, there was 12.4 free on it before I done the systems image and it's the exact same again. So let me close that. Everything seemed to work. Yeah, so that's it. So all the drives all the drivers for everything were, were, were set up correctly and you're getting uh, internet access and the whole lot. So that's it. That's how you re-image your hard drive. And that's the end of this series of videos about um, complete PC care made easy. So I hope you enjoyed the videos and I hope they were helpful to you and your computer. So thanks for watching.